Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Crystallis. We're in the Waterfall Cave! We just restored... Restored? Wow, I talk good. Restored people who've been turned to stone. And... Can't hit you with that. Can't hit you with that, so... Our option, run. And something tells me we do not want to get hit by those clouds. Or whatever they're throwing. Something tells me those would be very bad for our health. Luckily, they just seem to be kind of randomly doing things. Yeah. Go away. We now have Sword of Water. Still not real keen on facing these guys. Because if I have not missed my guess, that bolt they're throwing out will turn us to stone. So we need to kind of watch out for that. Anything else down here? Nope. Luckily, they seem pretty, you know, happy with just kind of milling around and not specifically focusing on us. Could really use a mirror or something to reflect that back at them. And begin level. At least they're worth a decent amount of stuffs. So if I need to grind, this may become a decent place in the future. Well, not the far future, but near future. Well, I can't see needing to grind anytime soon. Side note, we are down to our last sword. And these things are worth 50 apiece. I just now took the time to stop and look. Worth 50 uh, dollars, gold, money apiece. Haven't even paid attention to how much experience they're worth. Fifty each, okay. So you wanna grind? Holy cow, how many of you guys are there? Me without the ability to actually charge up past one. And that's what happens when you're turned to stone. I don't know how permanent that is. Okay, I'm f going far enough away from them to respawn. Let's... let's continue on, shall we? Oh, 
Yeah, narrow passageways for finding these things. Me out of good stuff. Another flute of lime, huh? That works for me. you up, I guess. Oh, yeah, you! We now have a shield ring. Shield ring is good because it ups our defense. If you couldn't guess from the name. Why am I still here? There we go. Let's see if the queen has an let's see if the fortune teller or the queen have anything for us. Someone will wait for you at the lake in the south. Hopefully you remember what that means. Go to the lime tree in South Lake. We've been there. The guy there didn't like us much. Maybe he will like us now that we have a sword of water. If I'm right, this sword should affect everything here. Yep. So now grinding here and actually doing battle and the like just became a little bit more possible. You know, because we won't have to switch back and forth between uh, swords. Although those things are still annoyingly hard to hit. So it's generally not worth it, really. So let's get in and out quick, shall we? Button mashing stab death. That's what you get. There we go! Now that we have the Sword of Water, he no longer hates us. Rage, protector of the sacred lime tree, who will give us the ball of water. Now let's equip that, shall we? Ta-da! Okay, so now that we have access to level 2 sword here. They can down those in one shot. Wow, nice. Or it could normally. Yeah. There is something we can do with this. You no. Go away. What was that? He freaked out. Wow. That that guy just freaked right out, didn't he?
Come on, get over here. Lousy flying things. Kind of look like the ones from Legends of Zelda, though. Now. So I don't really want you breathing down my back while I do this. Yep, that's what you can do with the level 2 sword of water. Freeze small bridges over things. I don't think it's permanent. I mean, it wouldn't make much sense if it was. But you may realize there's somewhere we can go now that we have access to this. Notice we don't have to paralyze him anymore. Yeah. Let's see. Yep, this is the only way we need to go. Now we know how the queen got back and forth. She could freeze water, too. But, nope, nothing else here. Except for this. Yeah, the fortune teller's really me, shock and awe. And this is Astina, one of the people we could have talked to via telepathy if she would ever actually talk to us. And now we learn Recover. And now we have to eliminate whirlpools in the angry sea to learn a different type of magic. Barrier. Ooh, now she will always look out for us. But now that we know that magic... And I forget exactly the different types of ailments you can cure with it. I know poison is among one of them. But I don't remember the full list at the top of my head. I will have to look it up before I begin the next video, won't I? Yeah. Yeah, I know where the queen is. Okay, so now... Shouldn't have a fortune teller either. Nope. Okay. Cool. Oops. Okay. Well, just in case you haven't guessed, our next location is in one of two spots, really. We've got two caves we can get to by freezing water across this uh, river here. There's one in the north, one in the south. We're going to go south first. Why? Just because. That and I believe there's something else there that we actually will care about later. If I can remember where the freezy spot is. Flying thing to the face. I hate the outdoors. Okay, now that we are here in this bottom cave, this marks a good stopping point as any. So, when we return, we start looking for that guy's fog lamp because, well, we need to calm the angry seas. The only way we get the angry seas is by the boat. And the guy won't come back until we find his lamp. So, until then, take care, folks. See you later.